Hey Longhorns, today is Monday, February 22nd, 2016. I'm Peyton. And I'm Morgan. Welcome to the 78th edition of the Longhorn Daily News. The Science Olympiad team competed at the regional meet at Texas A&M Galveston over the weekend. The Longhorns had a strong showing, competing against many of the top schools in the area. The medalists were second place, Hassanane and Arshan Ali for We've Got Your Number. Third place, Jerry Yang and Abrar Anwar for Air Trajectory. Hassanain Ali and Tenzin Palki for Science Word, Hassanain and Arshan Ali for Kim Lab. Congratulations to all participants. This week is beautiful week here at the ranch in support of cancer awareness and self-confidence. Tomorrow is Spray Away Cancer. Colored hair spray will be available at lunches for $1. The varsity softball team played the defending 6A state champ Katie Tigers on Friday. Katie defeat the Longhorns 5-2. They continue to play on Saturday, and the Longhorns went 2-1 by defeating the Fort Bend Travis 1-0, losing to Seven Lakes 2-1, and then defeating Cy Fall 7-5. This past weekend, the varsity Longhorn tennis team competed in the FBISD tennis tournament. Cassie Chin was edged out in the semifinals after winning three rounds of matches. And Ann Wynn and Chloe R. also fell in the semifinals as well. The varsity boys track team had a great season opener at Seven Lakes High School. The team placed second overall with many great performances. The next track meet will be this Friday at Clear Falls High School in League City. The girls varsity track team placed seventh overall at Seven Lakes Relays this past weekend. It was a great season opener for the whole team as personal rec records were set and one school record broken. This past weekend, four Longhorn wrestlers, work, uh, women, competed in the UIL State Wrestling Tournament at the Berry Center. Lydia Masters, Alanis Ventura, and Rebecca Chapa all finished in the top 12 in the state. Diana L. became the first female state placer for the Longhorns, as well as the highest state placer for the program. She finished the tournament in fifth place. The Longhorn women wrestlers had an outstanding year, capped off with an impressive district, region, and state appearance. Now back to you. In celebration of Black History Month, we spend a moment each day recognizing the contributions of individuals who have spent their lives bettering our culture and our society as a whole. In 1968, Chisholm became the first African American to earn election to Congress, where she worked on the Education and Labor Committee and helped form the Black Caucus in 1972. She made history again by becoming the first black woman of a major party to run for a presidential nomination. After serving seven terms in the House, Chisholm retired from office to become a teacher and a public speaker. Now here are the Longhorns who are celebrating their birthdays. Anthony Nunez, Ethan Cox, Jonathan Rosas, Odera Ikuzuma. The broadcast team hopes you have an amazing birthday. And that's what's happening at the ranch. Have a great day, Longhorns.